Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with... Brad. Bradman. You must think he's always in the kitchen. <laughs> Not always in the kitchen, but... He's... You know what? Usually when you're doing these videos... Yeah. I'm in the kitchen. Yeah. I don't know why, but yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I'm pulling up the weather here, people. Bye. It is April 26, 2019. It's Friday evening at 6.09. And what is it, honey? What is what? What is it? Hot. 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 It's only 80 degrees now, honey. God, earlier it was just... I know. Well, well it's 83 right now. Feels like 83. The high was 81, supposed to be. But it was, what, 86 before in the car. And the uh, low would be 52. It did rain like crazy last night. And we were under a tornado warning um, until 1 a.m. I didn't know this. Brad did. Um, he didn't tell me. He, I don't freak out, but I do get worried. Uh, the humidity is at 39%. There's no rain expected today. Wind is 12 miles per hour from the north. Sunrise was at 6.59 a.m., which we were awake for, or I was. Um, and sunset will be at 8.11 p.m. tonight. And tomorrow is supposed to be um, pretty much the same. 80 degrees and, and the low will be 50. And, yeah, there is a fishing tournament in Panacea tomorrow, which is called Rockin' the Dock. Um, so that'll be, and there's lots of people, I think, in town for it already. Um, I'll a little bit more about that. Um, did we do, did we do um, a video yesterday, honey? I don't believe so. I can't remember if I did a video or not. We were not feeling well, guys. Um... So I can't remember if I did one yesterday or not. Both of us were not feeling well. Both of us had a touch of the flu. Um, so, uh, yeah, we just kind of uh, shared a bottle of, of, uh, of Pepto-Bismol and each had some ginger ale and we didn't even cook dinner last night. Well, yeah, you did. You made um, grilled, cheese sandwiches. grilled cheese. Yeah. Remember yesterday I asked you if you're going to do, do a video? And oh. you said you were going to go on and say, not doing a video today, and then shut it off. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I guess I didn't do one yesterday because, like I said, we were not feeling good. Yeah. Um. So, but that happened. So, we, no, we didn't go fishing. Um. And we weren't going to go today because it's just too, when the high tide is, it's just too blazing hot. And also, there's just way too many people around today. Um. So... Uh, another restless night for both of us. We seem to be just want to sleep for a couple hours and then be up. I was up until 8 a.m. and I had to make myself shut everything down and go to sleep. I was up and I went into the um, art studio and worked for a while. And then I went into... Uh, uh, Went back to bed and I was looming on the afghan and stuff. I could show you the progress of that so far, I guess. Hang on just a minute. Not easy showing because it's, you know, pretty darn big. Massive. Yeah, but this is, oh, this is how far it is. I've just changed to a different color now. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is so far. Don't worry about the curling, because I will cringe this whole edge, so, yeah. So, um, Brad, don't mind the noise. You're just going to hear that. Brad Sorry. is cutting up. No, honey, I'm not complaining. I know. Um, it is what it is. Uh, Brad is um, cutting up some peppers for me, some mini um, bell peppers. We like the um, uh, sweet ones. Um, to Because I'm going to make Spanish rice. He's going to cook fish some tilapia, and I am going to make Spanish rice to go with it. And so he's doing some sweet bell peppers and some uh, um, onion, chopping up some onion for me. Did you tell them about our possible solution 
to how we can sleep better at night. No, but I will as, okay. as I run down into that more. Okay. <laughs> I got a whole thing it, it, that it's coming up, honey. Okay. Don't sorry. spoil my thing, man. I'm sorry. Okay? Please don't beat me. You said you liked it. Well, not in front of the camera. Okay, okay. We're pretending still, right? Yes. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, anyway. <laughs> What was I saying? Because he just messes me up. Anyway, you're going to hear some noises because, you know, the the, pa the bag that the sweet bell peppers is in is very crinkly. So, um, and I don't know what I was saying before that. Do you? You were talking about your, uh, your napkin you were making and how it was going to straighten up. And oh, yeah, because I'll, I'll thank you, honey. Um, the the afghan I'm making, I will fringe that whole edge. So, um. The curling is it will be no problem i didn't i didn't do an and um every other uh the beginning of it the every other one as um uh an e-wrap and then a pearl uh because i knew i couldn't fringe it and i don't like pearl stitches i don't like having to pearl a whole bunch so um but anyway so we got up about 11 30 and um we, i wanted to get out of the house I normally do about Fridays. I want to get out of the house more. That's normally when we pick up a few groceries. Um, so we went for a long drive since we weren't going to go fishing. We're feeling both feeling better today. And um, uh, so we went clear down to Panacea and over the bridge and stuff. And just for a nice long drive. And then uh, we went to Walmart, picked up a few groceries. Um, need to pick up some more fresh stuff, of course. Um, I go through, we go through a lot of produce, you know, um, I go through a lot of, of lettuce, you know, the spring mix and then the romaine and, um, or no iceberg. And, um, I, we go through probably about 10 pounds of tomatoes a month. I figured it out. At least 10 pounds of tomatoes a month. And I am the one that eats most of the tomatoes. Because I just, I love me some tomatoes. If I had to pick one fruit or vegetable, and I could only have one for the rest of my life, it would be tomatoes. What about you, honey? I don't know. Not what would so you much, pick? Not so much vegetables, but... Uh, A fruit or vegetable. I love, I love plums. I love grapes. No, you got to pick just one. I can't. No, they only let you pick one. I cannot. You only get one, man. Pick it. Because... Remember, what comes first to your mind? Remember when we What comes first to your mind? Grapes. Okay, grapes for him. Remember when we were in Las, in, uh, Las Cruces and uh, the plums? We were in Las Cruces and went to a Walmart there to get a few things and uh, they had plums dirt cheap. What, like 28 cents a pound or oh, something? I was thinking it was like 10 pounds for a box. I don't remember, yeah, but anyway, he bought a whole bunch and he ate a whole bunch and then he made himself sick because he ate so many. He didn't eat plums for a good long time after that. But, um, uh, yeah, I love me some tomatoes. But, yeah, we had to get some more produce mainly. And then it seemed to be, I don't know about you guys, but if we buy ice cream in a regular container, we just go through it so fast. So we decided we would go through the pre-packaged, like the ice cream sandwiches and stuff, portion control. So that's what we did. And it was much cheaper, too. Um, and that's the name of the game right now. So um, then we came home, put away, um, put away the groceries, each had an ice cream sandwich to reward ourselves, and then we laid down for a little bit. Because we were just really tired. And I've got gout in both of my feet right now. And uh, it's quite painful. So um, I'm trying to push the fluids and, and stuff. Uh, you know, it's all you can do. Take a leave. Wait it out. Um, and don't know why. Cause it had to, I haven't been overindulging in meat or anything. Uh so, and I haven't been eating radishes and stuff. Um, I don't know. Might be the mushroom, but I haven't been eating a ton of mushrooms lately. It just hap seems to happen more, you know, as you get older. 
And um, how are you feeling today, honey? I know you. Is it your hip or your back that's hurting today, or both? My back. Because I know he was wincing as he was walking. Did it help walking, or oh, yeah. a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. Um, so, uh, do you need to take some kind of uh, Tylenol or something, honey? Yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, that's what our how day has been so far. I was kind of laughing about Brad and I were talking the other night and I said you know the, just the way that you come into the world is kind of the way you go out of the world because if you look at newborns and, and babies and you look at very elderly people it's kind of the same I mean by the end of your life you probably are toothless you might be hairless or the hair has gone to other places I'll hit that in a moment <laughs> you're wearing a diaper, and you basically can't do anything. It's just like when you're a newborn, if you think about it, you know. Um, you phrase that a lot nicer than I put that. Oh, that you're shitting yourself? Yeah, yeah that's basically. what Brad would say. Um, but, yeah, I mean, let's talk about, you know, I mean, you start to lose some of your bladder. I mean, um, you know, that happens with childbirth and, and uh, <laughs> all of that glory. Um you know, um, you might be losing your hair or have a lot thinner hair or have the hair seems to have migrated and be growing out of places you never thought it would be growing out of. You're like, what the ever? What? Really? <laughs> Especially men, it seems like, you know. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden it'll be like there's a whole forest in that ear. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> you know, or, you know, and, um, you know, uh. You don't want to sleep at night. I know that's a common thing as we age. We don't want to sleep at night, but we want to sleep all day. You know, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, um, you know, we started, sometimes we'll start being eaten, eating our dinner at, at 4.30, 5 o'clock. Brad's getting out of cutie. You yeah. starting to feel a little squirrely, hon? No. Oh, he just wanted to... We bought some cuties. We were having a hard time getting any fruit today because it's also blessed expensive right now. The strawberries shot up in price, oh, man. man. And um, uh, the uh, grapes were two ninety eight a pound. Uh, strawberries were for two pounds were well over six dollars. Yeah. Um, everything was really high. I mean, cantaloupe and and. Uh, Watermelon, of course, you know, it's not really the season for that, but, um... Well, even, like, the plums were $3 a pound. Yeah, they were $3 a pound. They were just all rock hard. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so, Brad got, um... Are you going to have a couple? I'm just going to have one. Oh, okay. Uh, so we it's finally settled on getting a bag of cuties and some bananas. You know, we already had some apples in the fridge. So, uh... You know, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, it just amuses me as we get older and stuff, <laughs> you know. But I'm not complaining about getting older because if you're blessed enough to be getting older, and especially if you're growing older with, with your with your um, uh, love of your life, you can't really complain. can't really complain. Right, huh? Right. So, um... I, I find as I get older that um, I just want there to be peace and forgiveness and letting stuff go and just, you know. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't that way. A lot of people hold grudges and just are very fast to cut people out of their life. And, you know, so be it. Um, you know. It seems to be a big common thing, I have to say, with the internet and stuff. If people, as easily as we seem to make friends, if people will just cut you out of their life. Like you never existed. And um, that's very hurtful. But, you know, they have to live with what they do and stuff. Just like we all do. Because we all make massive mistakes. Um, but I had a friend of mine not too long ago tell me... Um, that 
uh, you won't really, and he is a member of the clergy, that you won't really make really great friends on the internet. And I don't know if that's necessarily true or not, but that it's better to make friends in person, which I can see his point on that, you know. Um, I'm going to try that because um, uh, I'm going to start. There's a couple of different things at the library, and I know I've talked about it before, but there are a couple of things at the library that I'm going to start going to. One's a knitting group, and one is just a crafting group. And the crafting group meets like every other week, but the knitting group meets once a week. And I'm going to start going to that because, you know, I can meet some, some ladies that, that would be fun to. I'm not going to do the bingo because I don't really see where, where I can justify the cost of it right now. And normally people aren't chatting while you play bingo. So, and I'd like to start doing more with the library and stuff. Later on I might decide I want to volunteer or something. I got a few ideas rolling around in my head about artwork and stuff. And maybe, you know, getting local artists together and stuff. So, we'll see. We'll see. I have some different ideas on that and something that would help raise money for the library so that would be good so um yeah that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be looking at that and um uh, you know you can only try so much um to um keep a friendship going before you realize that door is shut and you need to just not stand at it and knock anymore but walk on by just Walk on by. <laughs> so, uh, you know, what I'm doing. What I'm doing. Um, you know, live and let live. You know, embrace the, the, the good memories and let go of the, you know, anything negative. I'm not a negative person, don't want to be. Um, but yeah. That's it. That's all I got, really, for today. Uh, do you have anything else, honey? Uh, no. No? Not that I can think of. Carly's laying on his back again on the couch. He got from the bed to the couch. That's as far as him got. Yep. Did you tell him about our, your sleeping idea? Oh, no, I didn't. Thank you. I have this idea because Brad laughs because we'll be up and stuff because we can't sleep. And he's like, okay, well, it's daylight out now. I, I'm going to try to go to sleep again. That's a running joke, but it's true. So I told him, I said, we're going to take, we have two two big lamps in here, you know, the big upright ones. We have two windows in our bedroom. Well, we have three, but one we just don't ever, you know, mess with is behind the TV. I'm going to put one outside each, uh, 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 one outside each window. And, and and aim all the lights right into the window and plug them in. So we'll think it's daylight and then maybe we'll sleep. I think that'll work. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll get, or we'll get some massive floodlights and just... Yeah. You know, and then the neighbors will all be like, what the hell are you doing? Trying to sleep. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to sleep. Yeah. Because yeah. we can sleep great in the daytime. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We can sleep great in the daytime. I played... Like when we lay down to take a nap, I played a few games on my phone, and then yeah, and uh, I thought, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to sleep, and I did, you know. But there's there's a few things I'm gonna try a little bit more seriously tonight. Um, is I'm trying, gonna try not eating carbs late. We think that's what our problem. Is. Yeah, you know, you get all that sugar in your blood, mm -hmm. you know. And, and I know I've read too that it says your body thinks. You eat all this stuff. Hey, we need to be up doing stuff. Yeah. You yeah. just fueled us. Our motor's running now. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and uh, um, I've always been a lot more sensitive to caffeine than you. Um, I'm not sensitive to it. No. That's and, the opposite. Yeah. You know, so I, I work really hard on not consuming a lot of caffeine or trying to consume any caffeine. After six, um, hopefully that helped. But then I think, you know, cutting back on the carbs and sugar to see if, if that makes a difference. Just well, like, I know it has before. You and I tried it, and it, it was. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just, 
what I'm going to do is just, if, if I'm hungry and stuff, I'm just going to have, like, cucumbers or, yeah. you know, can of veggies or, um, you know, yeah. um, yogurt. Yeah. Kind of cheese, that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know. Both, I tell you what, what happened with Brad and I is our schedule got all messed up with this, this sudden change in life. Our, our schedule, I know at least with me, our schedule just massively changed. And, you know, too, when you're a little stressed and stuff, you'll eat more. We do anyway. And, uh, yeah, we've gotten just, you know, not doing very well. We were doing well and not doing real well in that sense. And we have a doctor's appointment coming up, and I'm a little scared. <laughs> We do. We have one on, what, like the ninth? Something like that. And she's going to hand us our ass, you <laughs> know. <laughs> so, you know, she's going to be like, what the frick are you? It's like, I know. I'm not worthy. You know it's bad when you're when you're telling each other, I'm not taking my blood sugar in the morning. I'm not taking, and I know I, we shouldn't be messing with it and stuff. We do need to take it a lot more seriously. There are people that die from from that. I know I don't heal up the way I used to at all. And, you know, the carbs and the sugar aren't good for my infections. I always have some kind of an infection in my body, and I always will. And I know that because of all the staph infections and stuff. Um, and it just kind of migrates from place to place. But, um, I guess I'm kind of chewing myself out while I talk to you guys. <laughs> no, seriously. Because yeah, I, I have a tendency to poo-poo it off. Yeah. It's easier than having to really sit and think about, well, yeah, what are you doing to yourself? Yeah. You know, what are you doing? You could lose your eyesight. You could lose your limbs. You could have a heart attack. You could lose your life. Mm -hmm. You know. So many other things. It's like, yeah. yeah you know. Right, Noodle Poodle Girl? The Nixie Noodle said her need her mommy daddy round so bad. Well, somebody's got to open the treat buckets and she doesn't have opposable thumbs. That's right. Well, she would be a sad panda girl too, wouldn't you? They love having Brad home, don't they? You love having your daddy home? Do you? She's looking at you, honey. Hey, pretty girl, Nixie. <laughs> Oh, here, let me get my, let me get my loom out of the way. <laughs> well, no, you're just sniffing the bucket. Hey. Yeah. Got to get the loom out of the way. I'm enjoying I'm doing this. This, you, you guys, do you mind? You two over there? Sorry. You want me to beat you again? Please. Hey, we weren't talking about that on the oh. camera bar. Okay. No, um, I'm just kidding with them. Uh, but, uh. I'm in, enjoying making this, this afghan, you know, so, almost done with some painting, I don't know if I'll get to them, I might get to them later tonight, I don't know, um, uh, but, uh, I had fun last night, I couldn't sleep, finally got up about 4 a.m., I'm like, I, Brad was over young. I'm like, I'm going to the art room and work for a while, <laughs> you know. I'm working on four different ones, you know. Well, you can only do so much, and it depends on if you're doing a real thick line. Um, one of the things I use, it's not classic. Now, this is not going to come as a big surprise to Brad. Is I will use um, mixed media quite a bit. I will use mixed media that they say you can't mix, that I can mix, and my my art professor was almost like, was always like, you can't use those two mediums together, like, say, um, uh, chalk and, um, oil. You know, an oil pastel and a graphite. Uh, you know, things like that. Uh, oil pastel and, and a pen. Uh, it's like, yeah, you can. Um, but, uh, a lot of times I'll use some fabric paint. If I want to build up a line, and have a lot of texture, I'll use some fabric paint. Um, you know, basically, because I bought a lot of it really super cheap at the 
Drifter. And remember all that I bought? I'm almost mm -hmm. out of all of it. Wow. And so you can, even though I will use the heat gun to dry my paint so I can continue on, if I lay, if I have laid a, a large bead down, okay, it'll, it'll, it'll dry just on the surface, but not in the middle of that too. So I've got to wait for it to actually dry all the way. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'll be working on, and I like to work on multiple pieces at the same time. So, I'm probably going to do some drawing. I want to put together a drawing kit so when Brad and I are out and about and stuff, if we're fishing, if I decide that I don't want to fish anymore or that I want to, it's slow when I want to draw and stuff at the same time, I have my kit all together. And that, that'll be nice. Um, look at Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, don't make fun of me. So, um, yeah. So, uh, the two paintings that were sold made it to their new home yesterday. And that was always a good feeling. And, uh, yep. Did that so, lady get her loom? I don't know. I haven't heard yet. Oh, okay. She should have gotten, um, June uh, was the winner. And she should have hopefully gotten her loom today. But I haven't, I haven't heard yet. Whether or not, let me take a peek at my phone and see. Let's take take a peek at my email. And uh, I read your message real fast, Carol, and I will reply in a minute. Uh, or, you know, when I get off here. Let's see. Um, she hasn't... She hasn't said anything, but she might be busy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. She might be busy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But that's all there is. Here, do you want to read this? Where was I in this? So, um... Uh, but anyway, that's all I got to say, and um, I'm hoping everybody has a good weekend, and um, remember that we do love you guys, and um, I do cherish your friendship very much. I think I think friendships are, are to be held, you know, very near and dear and not just because you have a disagreement or don't like what somebody said, that you just, you know, erase them from your life, I mean, you know, but each to their own. And um, I think you guys are awesome. And say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.